OpenAI has a super powerful new real-time API. It allows you to connect over WebSocket and exchange messages back and forth. They provide a pretty awesome demo application that gives you a console so you can kind of learn how to program with it. In the readme, you'll see that they recommend running a relay server. Because if you don't, you pass your API token from the client side in plain text across the network. And we all know that's not a good idea. So OpenAI actually provides a Node.js relay server, which is awesome but that makes you need to figure out where to deploy it. Now, we want you to build, and we think that this is a pretty huge opportunity. So what we did was we built you an open source starter template, which will give you a relay server that you can use for free on Cloudflare workers. Let me show you how to get started. This repository is open source, it's in the notes, but it's also a template repository, which means you can do this, use this template. I'm gonna create a new repository. And I am going to call it uh, Workers Relay. Cool. So, uh, and I'm just going to leave that as is, and I'm going to do Create Repository. This is a little different than forking a repository. It creates a new one. It's totally detached. So from my new repo uh, that I've just created that's in my account, right, I've got this Workers Relay. I'm going to grab the code. I'm going to bring it down here, get the SSH. I'm gonna copy over to my demos directory. I'm gonna say git clone, and I'm gonna pull that down uh, here to my local machine. And then I'm gonna change directories into that uh, directory there. And I'm gonna open that up in Visual Studio Code. All right, so now I've got this new template, and uh, I'm gonna open up uh, the readme here. And the readme has a couple of things uh, that I need to do uh, to get going. Now, first of all, what I should probably always do, right, is let's go ahead and let's do an npm install, get everything going there. Uh, so we'll install some things there. And it says, add open AI API to your secrets. So if I wanted to work locally, which I do probably in the future, I want to make a, a local file here called dev.dev.vars. And uh, in here, uh, I can put, let's see what it said here. It said, uh, put the following open AI key, your API key. I will do that. I'll paste that. I'm going to push my key in there. Do not tell anybody my key. I oh, just kidding. I'll erase it later. Uh, there we go. There's my key. And back to the readme. Uh, and so uh, in production, you'll need to add it to your worker secrets. So we'll do, do this uh, here in a second. Before we get there, though, I wanted to show you this in the Wrangler Toml. If you go into Wrangler Toml, you can come and you can change the name here of what you need. So I'm going to call this, let's call it OAI Relay. And there we go. Okay. So now let's go ahead and add that secret. So that was NPX Wrangler. I'll just grab it from the readme npx wrangler secret put and we want to put open ai api key and what that's going to do is that's going to push that forward into uh the the program i have multiple accounts we'll put it in this account here the secret value that i want to put there uh is again this guy there we go um, it says, do you want to create a new uh, worker with that name and add secrets to it? Yes, I do. Uh, in fact, uh, I could deploy this as well now. So, so now I've uploaded that and uh, it's created a brand new worker for me. So I'm going to do an NPM uh, run deploy. And this is going to take that code and it's going to push it up there. Now I have a server uh, by the name uh, OA Relay with, with my uh, user account name and then workers.dev. So this is now live on the internet. Here we go. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to copy this uh, URL. I'm going to copy this to my clipboard so we have that for later. Now I'm going to go and I am going to uh, get to that OpenAI uh, repo. I have cloned it. It's in the notes. Uh, so it's the real-time console. And in there you'll see this note about uh, using a relay server. Uh, it'll automatically start here. And what you do is in your M file, you need to do the following configuration. You say what your relay server URL is. And so we're going to go do that. We're going to go into a, a new file called env.env. If it doesn't exist, you'll need to create it. And uh, we'll pass that in there. And instead of that, I'm going to push my new uh, uh, server URL again, which was this uh, OAI relay. Now, uh, that's my local one. Obviously, yours will look a little bit different. Awesome. And with that, I think we're ready to give it a spin. So I'll say npm start. Now open up a new browser for us, which is pretty cool. 
uh, I'm going to go ahead and say connect. Now, this is going to connect to my relay server. Hello. How's it going? What can I do for you today? Hello, my name is Craig, and I live in Portland, Oregon. Nice to meet you, Craig. How's the weather in Portland today? Would you like me to check the current forecast for you? Ooh, you can do that. Yeah, I would love for you to check the current forecast. It seems I'm having a bit of trouble fetching the weather right now. Is there anything else I can help you with? That happens sometimes. We can chat about something else fun while I work on getting that sorted. But you can see that the function call actually went. So it went and actually did a tool call. It, it happens sometimes in this demo app. Uh, I think you actually got the information. Oh, you're right. I do have the information <laughs> now. In Portland, Isn't that cool, though? It's currently 10.2 degrees Celsius with a light wind speed of 5.3 kilometers per hour. And it probably is. I don't know Celsius. Actually, what is uh, that in Fahrenheit? Sure. In Fahrenheit, that would be about 50.4 degrees. So it sounds like a cool, breezy day in Portland. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to know? So pretty cool, right? So that's, remember, this is just a starter, right? So this is this is their app. And let's go over to our, our starter, which we, we call Workers Relay. And if I go under source and I go under index.ts, you can see a little bit about what's happening in here. You can kind of walk through this. You can set this to true if you want to see some logs. Um, and uh, there's there's doing uh, there's some logging that is happening in here. You'll see that we're pulling off a web socket. This is a this is a standard um, way that that workers uh, works is you can you can run these workers and you'll see here at the bottom. Let me just scroll all the way down here. Sorry if I'm making you sick. <laughs> we have this. Uh, there's a there's a function that you need to export from every one of these workers in a, in a file like this where you have a request, an environment, and a context. And uh, we're doing the WebSocket handling for you, right? Because uh, there's certain uh, HTTP things that go across that you need to do. And we do call this create real time client. And this create real time client will make use of WebSockets, right? So have a very nice WebSocket uh, thing that's available to you. You can pull off a pair in this client socket, and we're going to set everything up uh, and we just followed what had happened in the node uh, relay thing which I make this as similar as possible but this is just one that you can host and I could do my dev workflow in here by just doing a quick uh, npm start and it will kick off the local server right? and the local server is on localhost 8787 so if I wanted to do any sort of programming or changes in here I would do that I should and I should right there are places in here uh, that you should be coming in here to do some changing uh, of things. In fact, we, we left it really nice, nicely coded. Um, so so uh, you can specify the model if you wanted to. That's something that you could do that's a little bit different here. Um, and then there's also places for you where you should go. It's probably a good place. You could do authentication. You could do rate limiting, that sort of thing. Any sort of control that you wanted to do because now you're in between the two. So you have complete control. And so all I would do is I would do my development here. I would take this and I put it on the other side and then the repo would just work. And I could work locally as well because the WebSocket stuff will work locally. So that's a good starter relay server that will make you not pass your credentials from the client. Now, remember, you should protect your worker. Anyone that knows your URL currently could connect to it and start sending messages. Now, don't worry, I've deleted my key I showed on the screen and this URL. Nice try, hacker. This is just the beginning of the OpenAI real-time experience. What do you plan on building now that you know your API key is safe? How will you tweak the starter template? Please, please, please share with us what you build. We're super excited to see where you take it. In an upcoming video, I'll dive deeper into what this new real-time API gives us in terms of possibilities, and I'll build out some real-time applications. Thanks so much for hanging out, and we'll see you real soon.